Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to another home bargains haul. You know the story, you pop in there for a couple of bits and end up coming out with two huge bags. So I thought that I would do a bit of a haul, share with you guys what I picked up. They've got loads of Halloween and autumn bits in there and then they've obviously also got their Christmas bits out now. But I did only, I think I only bought one... Yeah, I only bought one thing from their Christmassy range. And it's not even that Christmassy, to be honest, because I'm trying to get Halloween out of the way before starting with any Christmas content or Christmas kind of buying or anything. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, then I would love for you to subscribe. So I will start off with the cleaning bits that I picked up because that's, you know, let's be honest, one of the main reasons that I went in there. So I picked up these bold two-in-one um, pods I always use these I think they're brilliant so handy and I got them in spring awakening which is one of my favorite scents I always buy these in there because they're just so much cheaper than um, than buying them in the supermarket they're now starting to bring out all of the winter scented cleaning products which I really like because it just makes cleaning <laughs> So much more fun for some reason. I know I'll probably sound weird saying that. Um, I got these Zaflora Biogradable Wipes. These are fantastic just if you really quickly need to wipe something up. And also I just use them for cleaning the toilet. And I got these in winter morning. And I really like... I was going to get the... What are the other ones? They're like the ready colour. Um, spiced winter or something. But I prefer these ones. I honestly prefer more of the, the kind of comb ones. I'm really looking for the frosted eucalyptus that the Mrs Hinch one that she brought out last year and I do believe it's back but when I went into home bargains I didn't have any which I was a bit annoyed about so yeah picked up these and I think you get these are 108 large wipes in there um, I then got some crease release this stuff is amazing I've talked about this so many times if you have got bedding that is prone to creasing I love my bed I've got a really nice white bed cover but it is just honestly as soon as I wash it it just looks horrendous I used to iron it and steam it that obviously took forever and now I just spray it with this and it is like magic um yeah always buy this and again in the spring awakening because that is my favorite scent um i think it's two pound fifty in home bargains and i don't really see it anywhere else so yeah got that and then another thing to do with creasing i have been looking everywhere for this um and it is the steamer and ironing water so i seen this ages ago and then every shop that i go in never they never seem to have it and then they had it in home bargains i think it was only a pound for this bottle and then you can basically put it into your steamer or your iron and then when you're spraying the water it just makes your clothes smell incredible and then also helps with the getting rid of some of the creases as well so yeah I haven't tried this so I'm really looking forward to trying this one I tried one years ago um, but yeah I cannot wait to try this so I will let you know how I get on with this one um i think that's all the cleaning products i got to be honest i didn't really need that much um and then i just got oh what was this just oh one of the the things to put inside of your car the air fresheners to go inside of your car these are really good i've tried it i don't really like the hangy ones i find that they're just they're really strong for like a couple of days and then there's nothing whereas these are quite good because they kind of work when you're um when like through your vents when they're on so they work where if you've got the aircon on in the summer and then they work when you've got the heating on in the winter as well and this is blossom and breeze so i've got a couple of those for our cars i think they're around two pounds fifty in there um then what have i got here oh exciting i got a new mirror oh is that <laughs> shining on you um i got this mirror because i had one very similar and i did have one that i got from amazon but my eldest daughter has stole that one it's a light up one um which i love using so i should probably get another one of those ones but yeah she stole that one so i got this one i did have another one of these um but i basically dropped it off the table <laughs> and the back of it smashed and i've still been using it but it's actually quite dangerous because every time i pick it up it's just got big shards of like the glass in there so it's probably only a matter of time before i cut myself so i saw this in there and i think it was like one pound fifty and it's got the oh that is close so it's got the magnifying on one side and then it's got the normal mirror and it's just really handy because it's got this little like stand so you can stand up and tilt it depending on how you're doing your makeup 
um, and then obviously the magnifying bit as well and then it just folds up nice and flat so yep yeah, picked up that in there and then I also got this for my daughter Tamsin, my eldest daughter. Um, so she dyes her hair blonde um, and she basically wanted it really white blonde. But in doing so, they've kind of put too much dye on her hair and now her hair is in really bad condition. Um, so she's really upset about it, bless her. So she's had to cut quite a lot of it off. She's has it quite short now. Um, and she's brought some of this rosemary oil, which is meant to be really good for massaging into your scalp. Um, and I saw this in Home Bargains and I thought that this would be really handy for her. So it's a scalp massaging brush. So you just put the oil into your hair and then massage it in with this. And then it's meant to, you know, kind of like heal your hair as it is and then promotes newer hair to grow through as well. Um, and I think this was really reasonably priced. It was about 99p, maybe even 79p. It wasn't very much at all. So I just thought that... She could try that and hopefully that will help with her hair regrowth as well. Um, what else did I get? I got a couple of feminine type products. I've mentioned these before and they are such good value. Um, so I bought the, the bigger pads and the panty liners and these are two for a pound, which is just incredible because you know, if you buy like these always or something, they're like two pound 50 and I can't tell any difference to be honest. I think these are fine um, and I always get them from there when they're two for a pound um i got loads of halloween bits as well so i'll show you that shortly my first christmas um my first christmas purchase from home bargains and i told you it's not even that christmasy because i do want to wait a little bit but you know what it's like stuff really does start to sell out so as soon as halloween's over pretty much the first of december i will definitely be hitting the shops for some christmas bits and i saw this and i just thought how nice is this so it is a reed diffuser gift set but it looks like a christmas tree as well i really like and i just think it looks it looks quite expensive and this was 4.99 um it's in this scent mistletoe they did have lots of other ones initially i was going to get it in cream but then saw it in the green and then they also had a red one as well but in my kitchen not at the minute because it's kind of orangey because of autumn but normally i have kind of greeny tones in here and christmas will be green as well so i just thought that this would look lovely on the um on the stand that i've got under the tv over there yeah i really love that my first little christmas purchase from home bargains um i got a few foodie bits in there so i got some peach slices i picked them up for Tamsin, what else did I get? I got some rice noodles. These are really cheap in there. I think they're about 60p. Um, so my daughter is gluten and dairy free, my eldest daughter Tamsin. Um, so picked up these in there and then if we're having normal noodles then she can have these. And they are, these are also really handy to make like your own pot noodles with. So you can just put whatever you want in and then pop some of these into like a jar or something. And then when you get to work or when you want to eat it you simply just pour boiling water over. And they just kind of cook in the water, you don't need to microwave or cook them or anything like that. Um, yeah, and then you get like a little DIY pot noodle. Um, I picked up one of these pasta and sauces just to keep in the cupboard. Um, they're a really quick lunch and they're fairly low in calories, so 214, and I think they're about two and a half sins or something on Slimming World. And then another little lunch just to keep i normally keep one of these in my office at work um and this is just one of the tuna pasta salads um you know just for when those times where you haven't had time to make your lunch or anything and to save you reaching for anything naughty then these are quite handy and they're also quite filling they come with everything in there so you get the fork and everything in there so they're ideal if you've um forgotten lunch what else did i get in here oh nothing exciting some paracetamol <laughs> um then got some unsalted mixed nuts so again i got these for tamsin just for like a little snack for her and some chia seeds because i thought these would be really good just to put on top of um my breakfast in the morning so if i'm having like fruit and yogurt i thought these would be yeah ideal to put on 
stuff is there. What else did I get in here? I got some Reese's pieces were the little peanut butter cups. Um, you may have seen in a previous video that I made an autumn trail mix where I put loads of pretzels and mixed nuts and some of these in there. Arabella absolutely loves it, so I thought I'd put some more of there in to fill it up. Um, I got some, what are these? Jaffa, Jaffa Ween. I've got some Jaffa Ween cake bars, um, obviously just little snacks for Halloween. Um, oh, these are Christmassy as well, I forgot about these. So at Christmas, I normally do like a little hot chocolate station um, and then thought these would be ideal for it. So they're the snowmen marshmallow toppers. They bring these out every year in home bargains. Got some of these and I'm sure Arabella will just love that, having them on top of a little hot chocolate. Um, and then what was this? Oh, a waterproof foam bag. I've been wanting to get these for ages actually, but Tam's in my eldest, she's going traveling potentially next year. Um, and this was only £1.49 and everywhere else, they're normally about £10. Um, so we thought we would try it, get it at home, try it in the bath, just to make sure that um, it seems to work okay. Yeah, and I thought that would be really handy if you're, you know, maybe if you're going on holiday or something as well. I think that's a really good idea. And then, oh, I got this for Arabella. So Arabella's quite a girly girl. <laughs> and she said that she would like a spa night. So I thought this Friday night, what we're going to do is have a nice relaxing bath, have all the bubbles in there, put some relaxing spa music on, and then paint our nails, have a bit of a facial. And I saw this in there and it's a, um, a Barbie face mask and it's one of the peel off ones so I thought I've got a couple of face masks so I thought I could do one she could do one we could sit in our pajamas and just have our own kind of like little spa night so I thought yeah she will absolutely love that um, then moving on to the Halloween bits so most of the stuff I have bought is either for decorating because we're having a Halloween party and then the rest of it is just some crafty bits for Arabella and what I always do is make her a boo basket so I'll actually be giving it to her this weekend I always give it to her before the kids holiday and in that I'll just put like her Halloween outfits I'll put loads of crafty bits to do some baking things in there um like hair bits nail varnishes all stuff like that so yeah some of the bits are in there um, so I got this makeup so this will just be for the Halloween party and just to put any makeup on her all the Halloween stuff is so such good value in there it's all between say between around one to two pounds which makes it quite affordable so just some family makeup which we can have fun all getting dressed up for Halloween um i always buy her these sun catchers i get them they seem to bring them out for all different seasons so i have them at easter at christmas um and halloween and these are paint your own sun catchers i think they're about one pound fifty um and it's a really nice little activity for children to do because they come with the the paint brushes the paint and then they just dry it and you can kind of hang them up as little decorations as well so yeah it's just a really nice little activity for them to do um, I got these paper chain decorations so what we'll probably do when we have a Halloween party is set up the table in the kitchen just with like a bit of a crafty table I've got loads of crafty bits that I'll put out for all of the kids to do so I've also got some masks um, that I've brought I've got some big um, like reefs that they can do I've got loads of stickers and stuff as well and then I thought this would be ideal to have the paper chain decorations so some of the children can sit and do that um, I got these bat wall stickers. Now I did see these on Amazon and they were like five pounds. So they were, I think they were one pound in there. And I just thought these would be really cool just to create like a little bit of a, just, I might do it on the fireplace, like where my TV is. Just dot a few of these around or maybe in the hallway. I thought that would look really cool. Um, and then also decoration wise, these were, I think these were two pounds. I got some hanging bats. So I don't know if you can see here, again, I'm thinking of putting these in the hallway. So as you come in, um, they'll just kind of be like bats hanging from the ceiling. So I don't know if you can see on there. I think they'll be pretty cool. And then got a Halloween table cover, just because if they're all doing crafts and stuff on the table, then I don't want any of that to get ruined and quite reasonable. I believe that was 89p. Um, yeah, and I can use that again next year. What else did I get here? 
um happy halloween bunting so i have got quite a few halloween decorations from last year so i only needed a couple more bits just to make it extra spooky and um, oh i got this as well i got this um this skeleton felt hanger um and he was how much was he i can't remember how much he was but he was fairly reasonable i think he was around 2.99 um and then i just thought i'll just hang him somewhere maybe even at the front door actually he might look quite cool hanging over the front door so yeah but that was quite good and then oop got some part oh sorry if you can hear that it's just my coffee machine going off and then got some halloween style party blowers just again for the little kids as well oh i forgot about this this is a, another christmas present that i picked up so i lie i did actually get two christmasy type things um and i thought that we would get this for arabella's granddad um because he likes drinking real ale and it was only 3.99 just thought it was like a really nice little present to get from a child um 3.99 it's got a special big beer mug and then the beer in there as well so yeah i thought that was really cute um then for the kids on halloween obviously i had to get some sweets and i saw this i thought this was fairly good actually so i got this haribo party box so you get 50 sweets in here um i bet that still won't be enough because we always decorate for halloween we get so many kids coming to our house last year by about seven o'clock we'd bought so many sweets and we'd actually ran out so we had to like turn all the lights off because we couldn't obviously give um any more kids any sweets so i'll get these and to be honest i'd probably get another lot of box of the smaller sweets and stuff because you know what it's like when the kids come they always they don't just take one do they? <laughs> they seem to take loads um so yeah that was 4.99 which i did think was quite reasonably priced and then for arabella's boo box that i mentioned that i give her um i just got a couple of little things to put in there so these were around 89p i think um got some little hair clips for halloween which i thought were so cute and then some little nail varnishes and stickers as well so these are the kid ones so they're quite nice they don't like damage your nails or anything you just kind of pick them off they just peel off basically with warm water anyway um yeah and then there's some little like stickers for the nails as well and then got these Halloween sprinkles for when we do some Halloween baking. We did actually did some at the weekend. We made some biscuits. Um, and then she decided she didn't even like the biscuits. So that was annoying. Um, what else did I get? I think that's about it. Oh, apart from this. And then I just got this as well. Um, oh, I've got cobweb stuff on that. Um, this is just basically a bowl. I think it was about, they were quite like 129 maybe in there. Um, and I thought this would be good just to hold... I don't know maybe bags of sweets or anything like that just whatever i decide i will put in there when we are having the party um so i think that is that everything did i share everything i think so so i hope that you've enjoyed this haul that's everything that i wanted to share with you i will definitely be going back in there in november to get up to pick up some christmas bits as well um yeah so if you do like christmas content then make sure to subscribe because i will definitely be sharing some of that over the coming few weeks well as always thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye